Hi guys, welcome to all. And in this today's video, we are going to see about NumPy array reshaping concept. Okay, and we actually did a lot of times in machine learning uh, with the NumPy matrices of about creating NumPy array reshaping, etc. Okay, to do this, let's first import the NumPy library, which is very important, and we are using import keyword for this. Okay, let's execute this statement. Yeah, so let's first create a sample NumPy array, guys. So to do this task, we are using np dot array function. And this will create a, a NumPy array like from 0 to 11. Okay, to uh, know about more about this function, you can refer about this uh, link about where we leads to official documentation. Okay, now let's print a and the type and its dimension. Okay, guys, let's do this one. Yeah, now it's printing uh, like 0 to 11. Okay, and it is showing like an np like a numpy dot nd array and its dimension is 1. So for the task one, let's uh, create this one dimensional into the two dimensional array. So now let's we convert this. Yeah. So for this we are using np dot uh, reshape and we are providing the dimensions like two rows and six columns. Okay. Now let's print guys. Yeah. So uh, you, you can see right. It is giving uh, like uh, two rows and six columns and it is like a two dimensional array. So with this reshape function we can. Uh, like to create any type of conversions like right? okay now let's do like reverse right so we have like two dimensional array right now uh, like convert it into one dimensional array so in the same as above we are using np dot array to create the uh, numpy array and let's check the dimension of b okay you can see right clearly it is showing the two dimension and let's use the reshape function as used like previously and let will convert it into uh, one d array like providing nine okay nine means nine elements yeah you you see right one two three four all this converted into one dimension it is showing one dimension right yeah so now i would like to show you some additional tips and it is very very important guys like this the first tip is always make sure that you provide right dimension such that the number of elements are same before and after reshaping okay this is very important point and the second important point is if you don't know the exact dimension for conversion use minus one so that numpy will figure it out the current dimension so sometimes you don't know the dimension right beforehand so we can use a, a minus one like uh, thing and the numpy are figure it out which uh, which which dimension to choose okay so let me show me a demo of how it works so now we have like b b array i am converting into numpy array like i am printing it right so yeah so this is like uh, three three rows and four columns right so let me convert into four rows and three columns so i am not providing here column number but uh, if i print uh, if i use like minus one the numpy package only determines the exact dimension to choose here okay you see right the exact conversion is taken place by using minus one okay so by this you have learned about one of the key concept in numpy like reshaping which is very very useful okay thank you guys